Yo, what's the deal? Welcome to Philly Boy Show, Leaf Blanco. Week two is in the books. And you know, things is moving and grooving with the Philadelphia Eagles. We lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But all in all, I feel like my, my Eagles did a pretty good job. You know, the defense definitely struggled. The offense got rolling. Nick Foles had a good game. He was actually throwing dimes out there, hitting balls in the corner. Almost had a game saving drawn by Clement. Like, it was. We were seconds away from getting the victory. But the loss was wasn't one of those defeatist losses. It was like, yo, we was in there, we was battling. And it was just that we wasn't sharp throughout the game, and that's what happens. You know, week two. I rather that happen. But uh yeah, man, a lot of you know a lot of people disrespect my man Nick Foles, but he did an excellent job spelling for Carson Wentz. He took us to the playoffs, through the playoffs, to the Super Bowl, and started the year off right. But according to the facts, Carson Wentz is coming back. So, you know, everybody that's on the Wentz wagon, you'll definitely get on that. You know what I mean? The Philadelphia Eagles, we go in there. But, yo, don't get it for, forgetful. Don't get it forgetful. Foles don't fold. Never have, never will. That's my facts, man. And, and you know, I just want to give a, a love shout out to my man, Nick Foles, man. Thank you so much for providing the city with that type of leadership that we needed to to get us to the next and through the next level. Man, a lot of people say, oh, he just, he, I mean, they don't know football. I mean, I've seen it. I mean, you might not be the most running, capable, athletic, but your mind is sharp and your ability to uh, to make the right decisions is top notch. I mean, in my mind, top five quarterback coming into this year with your skills and abilities. I mean, you should definitely be a Hall of Fame candidate based on what you did alone that 27 and 2 year the Super Bowl championship unprecedented you know what I mean legendary big stick Nick you know what I mean and you know I just want to say it was to be a fan of Nick Foles was excellent you know I was it was I was so happy to see this you know what I mean to see this transpire you know what I mean to have him live out that Super Bowl win and go through the playoffs and actually prove me right and everybody else wrong. I mean, because I always believed in you, bro. Since 2012, and Chip Dip Stick Kelly got rid of you for no reason. And we ended up with Trashford. And, you know, we had a few bad seasons after that. But, you know, it turned around and we got Wentz. And then all of a sudden last year, we had Foles. I was like, why we got Foles on the bench? We got my man on the bench? Like, y'all don't want Wentz to get hurt. But if, if he do, I got my man Foles there. And as a fan, you did what no one else would expect that you did. Like as a fan, as a as a to be a fan, yours was dope because you you came through. I won every argument. I mean, I have you know I won every argument. <laughs> I mean, Nick Foles don't fold, and you and I mean, if you never played the game, you live in infamy as never folding, never yeah you know I mean ever once giving up the game, always keeping us in there. We never lost a game because of you, bro. Like real shout. Real shout out to you, Nick Foles, man. And, you know, I want to welcome back Carson Wentz, you know, and hopefully you, uh, you're ready to go, ready to kill Bill. You know what I mean, ready to do the Philadelphia Eagles story, man. Let's make this a doubly good story. I mean, if, if Wentz could lead it back this year, that'd be awesome. That'd be such a great Philadelphia story and have these two brothers unite, you know what I mean, and, and, and bring us this chip. But what I would say is learn from Foles. You know what I mean, and I know Wentz doesn't disvalue Foles like the media and everyone says, like those, you know, his subtle those PR those PROs like pass run options though, pass it sometimes had that option and then run it on him. Like you learn from what Foles did <laughs> from his brain and you apply your athleticism and Peters and you know get that gut go. Like yo, listen, we want to win. I mean, and you know, Doug Peterson definitely uh, did his job. You know, he sparked the McNabb era. I mean, Nick Foles, and he brought us back here to spark this era with Foles and, and Wentz. And Foles, man, I don't know if you're going to be a coach. I don't know if you're going to continue to play for a while. And I hope you do. I hope you, I mean, I'm going to get a GoFundMe for Nick Foles, like real rap. You get under the table cash. You get in Philly whenever. Whenever, bruh. But, uh, yeah, man, definitely um, just want to give a shout-out to Nick Foles, man. And give a good welcome back. My man Carson Wentz, take your time. I mean, and grind. Like, yeah, we, it's, it's good that we're coming back against the uh, Indianapolis Colts because the Colts 
aren't the most prolific. And I think that's the real reason why it's coming back this week and not next week in the game. Because it just get harder. It's going to get more real and you got to be sharp. So, man, listen. It, you know, I'm grateful. For, I mean, you did it, Nick Foles. You effing did it. Don't ever forget it. Man, it's, yeah, I mean, Carson, we back, baby. Eagles, we back. I mean, we're like we never left because we never did. Foles is a top five quarterback in the league. And I'm going to prove it to you. I mean, you can check the check the stats. You know I mean, Philly ball show, man. I'm just giving you snippets and blippets. You know I mean, stay tuned. Tune in. I'm trying to get, get my workout on. I'm trying to get back into fitness. So, you know, subscribe to my show, man. Subscribe. Leave me some comments so I can comment back, man. You know, Philly ball. Uh, I don't, was that? That sounds a little bit much.